It is time for Inside the NBA from Studio J in Atlanta. It's presented by Kia. Ernie Johnson along with Charles Barkley and Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. You'll hear from them in just a second. Before we get to the highlights of a four-game Thursday night, we bring you the news out of New York where David Stern, the NBA's commissioner from 1984 through 2014, was hospitalized. The NBA released a brief statement Thursday night revealing that Stern, 77, had suffered a sudden brain hemorrhage for which he underwent emergency surgery. Our thoughts and prayers, the statement read, are with David and his family. David Stern, uh, an iconic uh, NBA figure, uh, and obviously for all of us, we wish David the very, very best for a recovery from this and uh, the details. Very few at this point. There's been no word on his condition, but obviously praying for him and yeah. and hoping that he pulls through this. Well, he's been a, a great friend and mentor, and just a couple times I screwed up when I was younger. He really got on me, but he always left me uh, saying, hey, listen, just grow up and mature. And I think a lot of people, you know, we see how much money is in sports today. The NBA wasn't always like this. I said earlier, when I first came into the NBA in 1984, the average salary was, average salary was $250,000. Now the average salary is close to $10 million. Yeah. Uh, and he's been at the forefront of that, taking us internationally. Uh, but just a great, arguably the greatest commissioner in sports history uh, and, and, and a good man. So thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers for, you know, for him and his family. Uh, again, we've all had you know, so many uh, stories and so many interactions with him over the, you know, our 21 year, my 20, 20 years in television and 10 years as a player. So 30 years of him being, you know, around basketball and, and part of it, the culture of what it is today uh, is exemplified by everything that his, his visions were. Uh, Shaq earlier called him a visionary. Um, I think it's more than that because I think at times you couldn't imagine that uh, a, a game that was particularly born in Boston, Massachusetts would be a global game the way it is today. And, um, you know, just an unbelievable um, commissioner. And uh, our, our prayers are with him. He's the architect of what you see here today. Globalization of the game, uh, you know, uh, marketing, uh, you know, for him to have the vision to let people do what they do to, you know, bring this game to its height. Uh, it's a wonderful thing. You know, when he stepped down, uh, his replacement, Adam Silver, is a great guy. But, you know, to me, David Stern has always been uh, respectful. I, I can remember going to his office one time complaining, like, Dave, they, they followed me. They're doing this. He said, Shaq, I got 29 teams saying the same thing about you. <laughs> and we laughed about it. But, uh, you know, I, I wish him well. I wish his family well. He's a strong guy. So I know he's going to be. Be back real soon. And uh, you mentioned his successor, Adam Silver, and Adam learned from the very best as he took over yeah. as commissioner Indeed. of the NBA. And now the stories on the floor on Thursday night, beginning in Boston, where the top two teams in the Atlantic went head to head, the Celtics hosting the Sixers. And we watched to see what kind of a night Joel Embiid would have. See, two nights ago, Charles, Shaq, and Kenny had some pretty candid comments about what they'd seen from the Sixers' big man through 25 games and what they wanted to see and Embiid had a chance to respond. We're not criticizing. We're telling you, you could be great. You ain't playing hard enough. 22 ain't enough to get you to the next level. You want to be great or you want to be good? If you want to be good, keep getting 22 points. You want to be great? Give me 28. Give me 30. You want to be great? Watch Giannis Antetokounmpo, whatever his name is. He wants to be great. <laughs> no question. Like freak. When I'm playing against Carl Malone, Kevin McHale, Larry Bird, guys who are great power forwards my antenna is up i want to let them know like no i'm the best power forward no i'm the best power forward. no i'm the best power forward and tonight you saw these two centers who are both elite and neither one of them like no i want you to know i'm the best center he's the best player at his position to to be good he has to be great and that's the sizzle and it showed tonight. We remember the we remember the shake more than anything he did on the court. I do think that right. I think I need to, you know, be more aggressive. Um, just, you know, just look to impose impose myself. Just look to dominate. I think the whole season uh, I haven't done that. Um, and then you can see 
uh, the ways affected uh, my efficiency and my stats. So, you know, I guess I need to go back to having fun and just dominate. And, um, but I get what they're saying, and uh, I think they're right, and um, I got to make a change. Well, Joel Embiid came out like he had something to prove in this game in Boston. He went right to work, Shaq. So this is what you do when you're seven foot and you outweigh everybody else. You get them jumpers. It's okay to shoot one or two, but we dominate. And when you dominate, every, everybody's going to panic. They're going to start doubling. Your teammates get open. Makes them better. But this guy right here came to play too early. Yeah, Kemba Walker with the three there, and it's a four-point play. And here he hits the three, and it's another four-point play. But Tice got knocked into him. It was Tice who shot the free throw for the four-point play. And the floater goes for Kemba Walker, who had 21 in the first half. Uh, he's played well. For oh, I like that right there. Oh, yeah. You know what we call that? We call that chicken wang. Uh, chicken wang. Now, this is my favorite right here. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> that, that's my Thank favorite you. right there. 59-56 Celtics at the half. On we move. And in transition, the push by Embiid. Ennis Cantor had himself some good minutes for Boston. You know, uh, Seth, uh, Ernie, you know, Ennis Cantor is one of my favorite players in the league. So <laughs> he, he does the exact same. The running man. <laughs> he had a 20.9 rebound night to Cantor. Look at him. He's the best care. offensive rebounder in the NBA. No, 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 no. Best, Stop it, Chuck. Best offense, offense, best offense. Adams, Adams. I like that. Oh, Taco was in the, uh, on suited up tonight. I didn't get a chance to see him. Embiid for three. Yeah, and it's 100 that. to 92. I don't mind that once or twice, but not not more than three times. Well, especially when you're shooting 30%. Good the Celtics point. weren't done yet. There's Cantor with the big tip. And then Gordon Hayward with the jumper. Uh, and it's I, a two-point game. I love the intensity of this game, too. Yes. These guys were actually playing competitive tonight. Jason Tatum with Embiid running at him, knocks it down. They're down by one. And watch this. That's oh, a that foul. Was, oh, they they yeah. missed that one. Bad. The refs missed that one. Yeah, the call, there was no call made. Ball goes foul. That's not a foul. Why is that not a foul? You can't take people down. This oh, he fell. fell. He fell. He oh, fell. He was be held. Dude. Stand up like a man. <laughs> and on. now watch him beat on the defensive. Give me that. The block on Tice. And that's going to preserve the Sixers' win in Boston. 115-109, the final four straight wins for Philadelphia. First home loss of the season after they had started 10-0 on the parquet for the Celtics. 115-109. You see the numbers for Joel Embiid, 38 points, a season high. And now we bring the story full circle as we spoke with Joel after the game. Joel Embiid, 38 points tonight in Philadelphia's win in Boston. My question to you is, how much uh, impetus, how much were you fueled by what you heard from my compatriots here in the studio the other night? Um, obviously, uh, those guys are great. Uh, they're all famous. Uh, you know, when you got guys like that, you know, telling you uh, that they trust you, that I can be... Uh, uh, great, and you know, I take it to hurt because I understand that. I understand where they're coming from. I know I have that potential, but I haven't shown that, especially this season. Uh, so I just took it, and you know, I just wanted to come out and you know, be better. Uh, just play basketball. Um, so that's what I did, and I appreciate the whatever they said, and I think he played a part in what I did tonight. Well, Joel, number one, terrific game tonight. Listen, we don't expect you to get 38 points every night, but we need you to be aggressive because when you're a great player and you are a great player, you have to set the tone for your team every single night. And we're not going to let Ben off the hook either. Ben's got to be more aggressive, especially when you go out the game. But I picked you guys to get to the finals, and I just need you it, it, to lead this team every single night and I'm going to stay on you. I know you get mad at me sometimes, but I'm going to stay on you because you got a chance of being the best player in the world. We don't say that about a couple of players. And you were terrific tonight. And just, hey, keep it going, man. Keep it going. I appreciate you. I'm, uh, I, I've really listened to what you said and Shaq. And, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep walking. And 
uh, you know, I'm definitely going to use that and try to get better every single night and bring it every single night. Thank you. Joe, this is me, Shaq. Forget being a basketball player that's played, whatever. As a fan, that was fun to watch. As a Thank big you. man fan, that's fun to watch. You dominated the game. You shot high percentages. You played well. You had fun. You played hard. Your teammates followed you. And this is how you're supposed to play every night. I know Charles just said he doesn't expect you to get 38 every night. I do. I've seen it before. I got you. you can do it. You have it in you. And, you know, you have to get to the point in your career where you look at the people and be like, oh, tomorrow we play Minnesota, I'm getting 40. And challenge yourself to that. You could do this, what you did tonight, do it every night. I'm proud I of you. you. And I thank you for listening. A lot of people call their mamas trying to get people fired, do all that stuff. But you listen. We appreciate you, brother. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, everything you said. Thank you. Well, Joe, Joe, I, I just appreciate watching and, 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 have, and listening to you talk to the two greats at your position, basically, or played in that kind of position. You know, I was fortunate enough to play with the great Akeem Olajuwon, and uh, I was there for seven and a half years with this guy and understood, uh, you know, the, the work ethic and what he did. Not even work ethic, because I think you have the work ethic, I, but where he scored from in the game, and it was very similar. Uh, the one thing that no one could do. I, I, you, I know you're giving credit to Shaq and Charles and even, you know, what we've said possibly. But sometimes you just need to, you have it inside you already. Some people are like, oh, it's in your left pocket. And you, I think you looked in your left pocket and saw 38 tonight. And sometimes that's all that's needed because we, I think these guys could have said it. We could have said it to somebody else. And they look in their left pocket and it ain't there, brother. You got it in your left pocket. That's the only thing I would say. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I feel like, you know, I think I turned the ball two times tonight, so that's been an issue. Uh, so I got to work on that. And, you know, I missed a couple of easy ones. So uh, it's, it was definitely not one of my best performances. But, you know, uh, you know, whatever you guys said, uh, you know, I like it. I like when um, people, uh, I don't think you guys were criticizing me, but I like when people criticize me um, because I want to be better. I want to be great. So, you know, I appreciate it. 38, 13, and 6. Great night, Joel, and thanks a lot for fun taking the time. Yeah, thank you so much. All right, All right guys, thank you. Sixers now 11-5. and five.